All right, we're in Miami Beach and I have an amazing workout for you. I'm pulling a page right out of my Movie Star Masterclass. I've shown a lot of workouts. This is actually from the shrink wrap phase. So we're gonna be doing more volume to really elicit more muscle growth. And I'm doing a bit of a photo shoot today for some content. So I have Azaria. Azaria. That's for the video, okay? <laughs> I have Azaria here. And also, you know, it just happened that like, she's like, I can't, like, I'm trying to build my shoulders. I want to build massive 3D shoulders. What can I do? So you know what? We're killing two birds with one stone. We're going to help Azaria grow big shoulders. She lifts them up like nothing, too. <laughs> I don't know how many I've done. <laughs> Definitely eight. All right, so we're kicking things off the dumbbell seated shoulder press. I love this movement, and I've built up some pretty heavy weight on it. Today, I have a little bit of shoulder pain in my, in my left shoulder from doing dumbbell flies, which I don't know why I do dumbbell flies. I always hate them. I started doing them again and boom, I get a little bit of shoulder pain. So we're gonna try and do a hundreds today. The only other thing is this bench is either super incline or super upright. So it's not really the ideal bench setup. In any case, we're gonna go for the hundreds, but first, Zaria, she's hitting like 20s. Oh, my God, it's oh two more, two more, two more, two more, seven. And last one. So I was actually pretty impressed. She was like crushing the 20s. She's like a freak athlete. It's nuts. The hundreds did not feel good today. I'm gonna be honest. It happens. Some days you don't feel as strong. I've done a hundreds for like 10 or 11 reps not too long ago, but just Today, the stars didn't align. In any case, I would normally do a second set of shoulder press, but because of the shoulder pain, I decided to just move straight into some Arnold presses. So in my shrink wrap phase, we'll do two heavy compound shoulder presses, barbell, dumbbell, and then for extra volume, we'll work on doing two sets higher rep on the Arnold press. I'm gonna hold the dumbbells like this and then push them up. This one was actually created by Arnold Schwarzenegger to build his shoulders, just like this. You get a nice stretch on the shoulders, and you rotate as you, come, as you come up. I really like the Arnold press. You get a nice stretch. And you really feel it in the shoulders really well, coming all the way up. So we're basically gonna be doing an extra three sets of 10 to 12. Normally I just do two, but because I only did the one set of the heavy shoulder press, we're doing three. Okay. All right, she's going for 15. If she can do this, I'm impressed. I've seen guys struggle with this. Really? One, shit. <laughs> Two, nice, three, why not, nine, last one, last one. I don't know if I can. My left arm is so much weaker than my right arm. Damn, Azaria's got the Brazilian, Brazilian genetics. So we crushed the shoulders really good. We're building those 3D shoulders. So now what we're doing is we're going to some pull-up training, building the back. And so with the shrink wrap version, we're gonna be doing two sets of weighted. So I actually stopped doing weighted pull-ups for a while. So I'm not as strong as I used to be, but in any case, you know, we jumped into the 90 pounds, which is a really good weight, just over half my body weight. And we hit like six reps. Ideally, I'd like to be doing more around eight to 10, but because I haven't done this movement in a while, I'm a little bit weaker. But if you can build up to like 80, 90 pounds for six, you're gonna really create that V shape. Now, the weighted pull up is great. It's gonna hit some of the bicep, it's gonna build the lats. But if you wanna build more back thickness, you wanna throw in two additional sets of sternum pull ups. With the sternum pull up, you can get a nice deep hang and you're gonna pull more into a row. And that rowing motion is gonna build the back thickness. And of course, you know, we had Azaria, she did some chin ups. She was like, I can't do a chin up. And she crushed like 10 reps. I helped like five pounds. She's like hustling me today. Azaria, how would, how'd you find the chin ups? I didn't think that I could do it at all, but it was pretty good. That's insane. <laughs> That's, that's actually very good. I crushed it, I say. You know, instead of doing the sternums for her, we had her do the Romanian deadlifts. And the Romanian deadlifts is actually one of my favorite exercises to build your glutes. Essentially, you create more of that hip drive. So you actually take a conventional deadlift and you put a bit more emphasis on the glutes. So I find women really like the Romanian deadlift. Now, I actually love hitting the Romanian deadlift. You don't have to go quite as heavy as doing conventional barbell. You can just get a bit of a lighter weight and really create some nice growth in the low back glutes, hamstrings, so on and so forth. And now, of course, we're going to some arm training. So the workout's been pretty tough. I could do some dumbbell triceps, but I really wanted to just keep it more chill. So we're doing the rope extension. Now, one cool way to do the rope extension is a lot of people think about standing up and just pushing it straight down. But the tricep is really about bringing your lower arm back. It's this backward motion. So I actually like to set the cable not too high. 
because then it's more of a down motion. I like to set it kind of about a little bit higher than chest level. From here, I'll step back and now I'll put go down right there. You feel it way more. Two, three more. Six. Yeah, it's a little bit harder this way. Seven, last one. And hold the bottom, hold it there. Three, two, one, nice. Okay, good, good. Okay. So we crushed a few sets of the triceps with the shrink wrap version. You wanna do at least four sets, eight to 12 reps. Keep the rest periods a little bit shorter to produce that sarcoplasmic hypertrophy. And now we're going into the bicep training. So we're gonna do a few sets of incline dumbbell biceps. So you're gonna have the dumbbells here, you let them rotate open. The stretch is good. You wanna get a little stretch. From here, squeeze. three sets of incline dumbbell curls. And then to really complete the bicep development, we wanna hit you know, some hammer curls and get that brachialis going. So we're doing three sets with the cable rope bicep curls. You know, I felt strong on this. Azaria, her biceps were bulging. They were popping. Check out those biceps. Jesus. I'm gonna do one more set, okay? And then we're finishing off with a little extra shoulder. We're trying to get those 3D delts popping. So we crush the biceps, we hit the incline curls, you know, we hit the rope curls, and there's only one thing missing. Building the 3D delts, we gotta we got finish off the shoulders. So I like to finish off, you know, sometimes I'll do some rest pause lateral raises or face pulls, but today we're doing one of my favorite exercises. I haven't shared this with you barely, um, but it's actually a cross body dumbbell lateral raise. Sit down, like so. You got a nice little stretch here, like you're laying down at the beach. And then right here, get that nice stretched. And it really works. It gets an amazing stretch and the position just really isolates that medial delt. It is tough. And so I'm today, you know what? I haven't done this in a while. So I'm starting out like light with 15 reps, or sorry, 15 pounds, but doing 12 reps, going up to, you know, 20, 25. And my shoulders felt really awesome. If like felt destroyed. If you want to really push yourself on this exercise, grab a weight, you can do like, 12 reps with, do 12, 12, 10, 10, 8, 8, 6, 6, no rest. Back and forth, and like you start at 12, you build all the way down to six. But today we're going back and forth, so I'm just kind of going through the different sets. And Azaria, she started with like four pounds. And I was like, I was like, look, this is a really tough movement. Start with four. And she was like, this is this is easy. She got to eight pounds and even 10 pounds, which is really impressive on this movement. Like, even for guys, I'd recommend starting around 10, 12 pounds. It's a tough exercise. And it is really key. If you really want to build those big shoulders, you want to get strong on the shoulder presses and get you know some good volume on the overhead presses. And you really want to get a lot of volume on that lateral raise. And I recommend, like I get bored just doing dumbbell lateral raises, doing cables, doing the same stuff. So this one's fun to mix up for like four weeks. Do this for four weeks and then go back to your normal dumbbell lateral raises. So this is an awesome workout. This literally comes from my Movie Star Masterclass program. This is the shrink wrap phase where we do a little extra volume, a little more reps, a little more calories to get that skin tightening effect that works well. If you ever see me when I'm in my top shape, usually it's after doing you know four to six weeks of this shrink wrap training. So really effective. We deliberately keep the volume lower, keep the calories a bit lower, get really lean, and then we do that extra volume, extra calories to get that skin tightening effect. I learned this from one of my mentors, Rusty Moore, years ago. So definitely give that a shot. I hope you enjoyed this video. This video is powered by the Kino Mojo, which helps men naturally increase their total and free T. We are seeing incredible case studies. Guys have improved their T 200, 300 plus points. It is awesome. In this day and age, men's T levels are falling. They're down 40% from the 80s. And the Mojo is a good insurance policy to get your body back to where it should be in this current landscape. So I'd love for you to try the Mojo. We'll put a link around this video. Grab the Mojo and I will see you soon.